Hi, this is James Jones from Inland Countertops, uh, owner of Inland Countertops, and this is Jesse. And we're here to talk about our water system, our Bakker water system. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's absolutely incredible. Um, we were in the market for a water system, and we looked at the, the pancake type uh, systems, and I just wasn't really, uh, I just didn't really like it. I didn't like the way that it worked and the way that you had to clean it. Um, kind of have downtime when it gets full. Um, this system here, when it let's walk up here. This system here, when it gets full, or the filters get uh, dirty, you just flip a lever. So there's no downtime on this system. It's running on two right now. Uh, this gauge tells us that light starts flashing. This gauge tells us that they're that they're uh, clogged or the filters are, are dirty. We literally flip this lever and it runs on this side. So these are the filters that we use, kind of like a pool filter, but a little bit nicer one. Um, you literally pull these out, pull the old ones out, put these ones in, and you're good to go. Like the, the longest part of this process is taking these nuts off. You just take these nuts off. That's the longest part of the process. A uh, Little bit of water we squirt in here to clean it. I actually plumb these into our drain line that goes back to our tank because when we clean it, um, there's, there's a little bit of residual cake on the bottom and that goes back into our system. So we really, this is, we didn't clean this area. This is about what this area looks like all the time. Um, so the process of doing that is, is amazing. Uh, we have two of these quads, these are called quads. We have two of these. One here, which is doing our overhead lines to our drops, to our polishers. Uh, and then we have one on the other side of the shop down there that we'll show you. Um, that I just have hooked into a line polisher, a, a Marmo line polisher. If you want to upgrade this system, unlike the other systems, all you do is add one of these. And I can put this anywhere on the floor. It just has to be in through the water system. So these gray pipes right here, a, a two inch gray pipe, the ones on the back side, are what this water system is doing. You can see it right here. Um, so those are going into that. That's how it's cleaning it. The process of this thing working is it's always on. It doesn't work like the other systems where you you turn on a machine, you turn on a machine, and then water is being uh, going through the filter system, and then you're cleaning the water you're using. This is always cleaning the water. So it, it's off right now just because of noise, but it's constantly cleaning the system. And, it, and it, this pipe center goes all the way down the end of the building and comes all the way back. And then we have our all our machines drawing on every other side of the pipe as it goes down. That was kind of an idea I came up with to keep it balanced so it's not starving one area. But it, but the way it works, it's not starving. So like the overhead halos that we have for the for the uh, polishers, they draw on every other line also. So the reason why it cleans so well is because it's always running. It it, it has clean the whole time. What were you saying? It has no downtime. Yeah. No. No. Zero downtime. Until we turn it off, uh, literally, literally, I pull that handle and it's still going. So we'll kind of show you that. I think we'll turn it on. Go ahead, and turn it on. So this is our pit right here, and you can just keep filling the pit. This is our pit. I've never cleaned this pit. Two years, I've never looked inside that pit. Um, there's a sweeper system in here right here and it's like a jacuzzi so this whole thing is plumbed with PVC uh, spray nozzles that just make this like a jacuzzi the whole time so never have we jumped in this pit and cleaned it since I built this building so we've only been here two years we introduced this right away um, the lobster pots that we have here which are awesome you want to pull one up. so any trash that's in our system goes into this lobster pot then we just clean those out maybe once every week and a half or so. Um, not that much. So that goes there. Actually, can you lift this up so you can see? It? So see, it's just a hole. I've never seen the bottom of that thing. Um, go ahead, step thing back. And then here on the on the bag, so it's a bag system. Uh, it gets this water to 10 microns without a filter. This technically is a filter, but it'll get this. Our, our water to 10 microns that we can use on all our machines except the water jet and the polishers we want to use better so that's why we're going to the quads 
and that will make that water uh, 0.75 micron. Just, just about crystal clear water, and we'll show you that in a minute. So, it's not going. Okay, yeah. yeah, noise. So, we didn't want to turn on because of noise. So, it, it goes through here. So, what happens here? It goes through this foam bottom tank, which is a, a, a pointing tank at the bottom. It goes in here, purges in here about every 10 minutes. So this is the heaviest cake, and then this drains back into the pit. This tank sucks up the water and goes through the cyclone system right here, which is cleaning it to 10 microns. So this is what's cleaning it to 10 microns. The heavy stuff won't go uphill, it keeps falling down. And then this goes back in the tank. Actually, this goes back into here. Three separate systems here of filter bags. One bag, three compartments. And then this goes back into that tank here. So that's how this works. How often do we change these bags? Once a month, De you know, it depends on how much you cut. Um, uh, you change your bags, but literally, you just pull these up. We don't even move anything. You pull these up with a forklift. We move this one out of the way to get to that one, but you take these up with a forklift. You let them dry outside, and then you throw them away. We kind of tie a knot in them or, or whatnot, depending on how full they are. But with like an old, another type of system, pancake system, you have to clean that out, put it in a wheelbarrow, then get it in a bag, and let it dry and do that. This just literally. 10 minutes and you, you change these bags. The process of cleaning those filters that we showed you over there, and this is this is a dirty one right here. Um, the process of cleaning those is they go into this system right here. The only thing I wish, I'm gonna take this door off. The only thing I wish is this had a better door on it. We don't like this door. It's an easy fix and I'm sure that they're gonna fix it over there at Depco. But this comes out and that's how that's cleaning. So that, that's just doing that. I'm gonna turn that off or slow it down. I'll slow it down just because it's kind of going everywhere. So this is cleaning a filter, dropping in here and going into a bag and going through the system again. So we're not cleaning this. This cake here is not going on the ground. It's going into a bag um, and it just keeps going. These are literally just sitting here spinning, kind of like on a, on a rotisserie thing. Uh, and then, you know, a man puts it in there, a person puts it in there and walks away from it. Probably about 10 minutes maybe. So that they'll do them, they'll keep them on the side and they'll bring them over to the, to the, uh, to the quads where they go. Um, to, uh, let me turn this one on. To the quads where they go. The water that this will make, one of these quads over here, I want to show you guys this. So this is water from the halo. So this is the water that will come out. So this is coming out of those quads over there. This is literally not a garden hose. This is going, go ahead, go up there, going up into our system. What is a garden hose right now? I mean, that's pretty good with that water. So that's what it'll make. It's pretty crystal clear. Pretty crystal clear. Yeah. So. Our water jet, our polishers, uh, we use it on our line polishers, so it's better. Um, but it's just, you know, like I said, clear. Pretty crazy. Um, so that, yeah. So this, this is, I know I talked about the, the, the sweeping of the bottom tank. This is a giant, kind of like a propeller that's keeping it going too. So it's never settling here. It's only settling here. It's only settling here. that water one time. After a while, you've just got to get rid of the water. We've got it one time in two years. And we, you know, this is a pretty big, put it that way, it's a pretty active shop. So it's not, uh, it's not small. There's a vodka down there. Way at the end, there's two line polishers. Um, we are now getting a new Revolution vodka. Um, so we're excited about that, getting rid of the bridge off. Um, what else do we want to talk about? Actually, so we were, before this system, we didn't have a system. We were using a pit and we were just cleaning that. So we were completely like super bad. Um, and I think our water system was actually at 600 microns. So I did not come from a different water system than this. This is the first one that we came with. Um, and we're, we're just unbelievably happy with it. Over here is a tank that is, uh, Junior, what's inside this tank? This, I think it's an anticoagulator. 
So, yeah, so this here it is, is right here. This is what makes the dirt separate, sink. right? Yeah. yeah, so this goes in here, all automatic. We do nothing. So this little thing's moving right now. This whole system runs itself. There's a few lights and gauges that you just gotta make sure are working, but it tells you as soon as it, if something's not right, that green light goes to red. Um, if something's slowing up, like uh, one of the systems, it'll go to yellow first, then go to green. So it gives you time, it's not, it doesn't just shut off. Um, and, and that's mostly that system over there. So it'll tell us when, you know, when they need to be. So also a, a big question is how much water pressure it does it have? Um, we got a lot. We actually have it neck down. They want to run it at about 80. We're running at 75. But I, I want to say it's some crazy, like 100 and something when we first got it. But this is this is a hose on our hand polisher. So this is not even, it's a half inch line. This is not even a two inch line. So this is typical of what we have for pressure. That's a lot of pressure out of a half inch line. So you will, if you have a water problem, a pressure problem, we had a pressure problem. Uh, we're in a new area in the shop. There's not a lot of uh, other buildings around it. So we had, a, we had, we were thinking about getting a booster. But once we got the system, it is a booster. So it has a very large motor that makes that water pressure the entire day. So that's another thing that we're super happy about. Lots of water pressure.